Hello everyone, welcome to Contraption Maker by Spotkin. This is a spiritual successor to the Incredible Machine. It is a try to make the most complicated possible gidget ever machine maker thing. Uh, commonly referred to as a Rube Goldberg machine. Or Rude Goldberg. I can never pronounce it correctly. Or I can, I'm always concerned that I'm not. Currently, this is available on Steam Early Access. It's $10 right now. I don't know what their price model plans are or anything, but it is already very, very well done. It's currently an Alpha 1, if you believe what the main launch screen says. So let's take a quick look here. There's still a lot of things that are not functioning, like community buttons the bug buttons the wiki buttons these are not working settings is working very very simplistic you've got volume and full screen you don't really need much more a simple selection for resolution while in full screen would be nice um, but when you're not in full screen you can scale the window just like you can with any other window at all so, it's pretty nice that way. This doesn't work. So, it's got two modes here. You've got a play mode and a make mode. The make mode, I'm going to skip. It's just crafting your own little puzzles. I'm not good at it, but it's got a lot of different things. Like, you can see all here, the different machines and, you know, little dude walking, the fist punching the rocket flicking switches, balls, all that cool stuff. This is all stuff you can build. Me, I'm more into this. So, these are the, currently the official puzzles that they have. So, you go in here. Tim woke up. Super lost. Get him home. Okay, so this is Tim. So what's Tim doing? Tim's just going to walk. Tim's going to walk and fall and die. Okay, we don't want to do that. So, let's get a Zeppelin here. And we will see if we can get Tim to fall onto the Zeppelin. We can. And he falls off the Zeppelin. Alright, simple enough. Let's put a pipe here. And see what we got. So I've already done this, so I actually know what to do. <laughs> the Zeppelin's going through. Okay, so we got him over here. Now, one thing to note is... Oh, see, you can't put things on while it's running. This little guy here, you've got your delete icon, and this tells you what it is. Nitro is very unstable. Drop it too far, and it'll... Or hit it too hard and it will explode. So, <laughs> that didn't work. That just blew the blimp away. And it didn't blow up this. We need to get him to his house. And all of these different items have this. They show their functions. They can, you know, move. Not all of them can move, but some of them can. So, we'll do this, and you know what, let's do this. Some of them have different rotating abilities. So, in this case, this one is a button that changes its orientation. This has no rotation. This, you can lengthen, shorten, angle. Actually, that could potentially work doing it this way. Uh, yeah, probably not. Anyway, let's let's put this back where we had it. So let's see what we've got here. Okay, so that blew up that. Tim fell on that, and that didn't work because we goofed up on this. Tim wasn't able to make it into the pipe before the blimp. Let's see. Still have this too close. Or too long. 
So let's do that. Actually, we may have screwed that up by making it too short. Yep. Let's move this. It's very fiddly, but the thing with this is you have these different speeds. And no matter what you're doing, the speeds will... They don't affect the physics at all. They merely affect the actual speed of doing it. It's not what I wanted him to do. Just in case you didn't quite see what happened there. He landed on this part. And then fell down. But either way, we succeeded in our mission of getting Tim home. So let's go back. So these are the ones that they've made. But there is this whole community of people that have made puzzles, which is great for me. There seems to be, oh, it's because I'm in a bigger resolution than I was playing with earlier. So you just subscribe to them in game. And this is literally the Steam Workshop. This just happens to be the in game view of the Steam Workshop for this. So you've got puzzles and then you've got contraptions. So it's pretty simple. Like, let's subscribe to this one. Now, one thing I've noticed is it doesn't give you any indication that anything's happening. But if I switched back to Steam right now, it would show me that it was downloading and probably complete. So if we go over to my stash, we have, there we go. Should actually have more than this. Oh, no, these are contraptions, right? Puzzles I have more of. So let's take a look at some of these people's contraptions. Let's do the one we just did. So you can play or edit it. We're going to play it. This contraption was made in a different version. OK. And it may not operate as intended. Well, let's see what it does. What's going on? Okay, so we've got anti-grav plates. Throwing balls around. Okay, I'm a... S oh! I get it! Okay. All this is, is to move that... Oh no, we need to... They're trying to move the ball. Okay. My mouse... There's my mouse. Just moving this ball across. See, this is... This is ridiculous. This is just ridiculous. But this is what this is all about. Just making something as complicated as possible... Not sure what the switch here is for or what. Oh. I still don't know what the switch is for, though. I think it's just there. But yeah, that's that's all this is. We could increase the speed. So the physics is pretty good in this. Like they've got it consistent at the different speeds. Which, from what I understand, is actually fairly difficult to achieve. So let's just stop that. It's kind of annoying, actually. So let's take a look at this one. This contraption was made a different version. Yes, it was. So what is this? So we've got Tim walking across the roof. Oh, and a Zeppelin. Whoa, that must have been like a gravity well or something there. Cut the balloon. Hamster, Tim flies down there, and, oh, and you can move around the background and everything like this. Oh, Tim bumps that to launch the rocket. <laughs> That's it. That's all there was to it. Very, very simple machine, or... <laughs> overly complicated machine. See, if I did this, say I, I want to draw, fire this rocket, I would have built this, and then I would have just put, like, Tim here and had him walk into it. 
I, I'm not. I'm not. I don't think complicated enough, I guess. So let's take a look at some of these puzzles. This is what really what draws me to this game. So what do we have to do here? I should have read that. So this is a ball. It's like cannonball or something. Yeah, cannonball. And... Right, I have no idea what I'm doing here. You know what? I'm going to go back, get the pinball off the bottom of the screen. What? Okay. Right. All right. Okay. We've got that. And let's grab this. We'll do this. And we will just flip that. <laughs> Alright, that isn't going to work, because the ball can't make it. We'll do that, that, and that can't go there. Okay, we've got another one of these. I didn't realize we had another one of these. We will shrink you, pop you there. I'm assuming we just have to kick this ball out. Like that. Yep, that was it. Okay. But as you can see, I took the most direct path. <laughs> I, I'm pretty sure I was supposed to go up here, and then through, and over, and across, and then down here. That's where we wanted to go. But I just went like that. But that's, that's how I do it. So, I know that there's a lot of different... This is no description. Okay, this... This is a contraption. But I don't know what the objective is, so I can't really do it. But anyway, this should... Whoa. Whoa, this one's got a story to it. Yar, salty sky pirate. Tim has built an airship... Of brick and balloon. This cannot stand. Defeat ye Sky Pirate by knocking him clean out. But beware a clever clogs. What? A clever clogs inventor who attempted to stop young Tim was thwarted for lack of few gears. Complete the two fisted pirate knockout device before salty Tim sends ye to the bottom of the sky. <laughs> What? Okay, this is the last one. If we can complete it. Okay, so let's see what happens here. Yar. Okay, so that's Salty Tim. And that's all that does. Okay. That can't... Okay, so... All right, so if I put that there, that will eventually go. And then I can pop you here-ish. And then... Can I put you... I can put you there. So now what happens? Let's increase the speed here. Okay, 
Okay, let's decrease the speed here. What just happened here? Okay. Did this one ever go off? Okay, so that one never goes off. So what we need to do is get that one to go off. Oh, righty then. That's going to be interesting to do. How the heck? So if we do that, then this won't work. Because that just goes that way. Oh boy. Somehow I have to turn this around. Um, yeah, that's not going to work. I don't know how this would be done. This could take me a while. Maybe we won't do this. That's weird. Why are those on there? Hmm. All right, I am, yeah, I'm at a loss on this. Yeah, anyway, um, yeah, we'll just, we'll skip that. <laughs> but yeah, definitely check this out. It's an interesting little game. If you enjoy these kind of things, enjoy this, the building of really strange contraptions, then this might be the game for you. If you were an avid player of The Incredible Machine, this may be the game for you. Anyway, I'm going to leave it here. Hopefully you've enjoyed. Hopefully this has been informative. Thank you all for watching, and we will see you next time. Take care.